In business, we are curators, artists, craftsmen, builders, makers, designing experiences for other people. These designs impact the perception the customers have of our brands, and that is customer experience. I'm Blake Morgan. The only thing that's going to differentiate your brand in the future is your customer experience. The fact that customers are valuable and should be treated well is not new. So why are we still having the same conversations year after year? Well, part of the problem is quarterly profits. CEOs are still way too concerned with Wall Street and they forget that it's a long-term game. Customer experience is a long-term game. If you want to retain and create customers in the future, there is no way you can avoid investing in your customer experience. That's not just customer service, that has to do with the entire sausage factory, the way you build your products, who you hire, the way you manage the people that you hire. All of these things play a big role in simply doing more for the customer and differentiating in customer experience. Thanks to the internet, thanks to the sharing economy, customers have more personalized and tailored experiences than they've ever had in the history of the world. Customers can get anything, anytime. So now they look to big business with those same expectations. However, there's this natural friction happening today in business. Big companies are created to manage operational efficiencies, to scale, to move as many customers through the same experience as possible. And on the other hand, you have those customers that enjoy the tailored interactions of the internet and the sharing economy. So on one hand, big business trying to get as many customers as possible through the same experience and those customers that seek tailored personalized interactions. What is a company to do? Companies today cannot get away with ignoring customers, with not listening to customers. It is so important to listen, even though it's hard. Listening is hard, nobody does it, everybody talks. But I promise you, if you listen to what your customers need, what they want, you will not be sorry when you have customers running through your doors.